Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sathar and today we will learn about what is a permutation group. So in this today's session we will discuss about some properties of a group and also permutation group and some examples. Okay. So first uh, let us uh, discuss what are the properties of a group. In previous session we discussed what is a group and uh, what are the conditions uh, to become a group. Okay. So the first one identity element. So whatever the identity element we are getting that is unique. The second property is inverse element is unique, fine. And the third one, if uh, inverse of A uh, is B, then the inverse of B is A. Okay, so these are the properties of a group, fine. Now, uh, let us discuss what is a permutation. So, suppose S is a non-empty finite set having n distinct elements, okay. Then, a 1, 1, on 2 function. Now we all know what is a 1 1 on 2 function and in case you don't know just go to uh, the function video. Okay, so then a 1 1 on 2 function from S to S is called a permutation of degree n. Fine. Now note. So see, uh, there exist n factorial distinct permutations from the set S to the set itself or to the set S. And the set of all permutations is known as permutation set and it is denoted by the symbol p subscript n right now let us jump to permutation group so what is a permutation group if pn is the set of permutations and composition function is a composition defined on the set s then pm forms a group and is known as a permutation okay and we know what is a group so a uh, composition function it is a composition defined on the s then this pn forms a group and is known as a permutation group. What are the notations for the permutation? See, uh, if we have the set S is x1, x2 up to xn and sigma, uh, let us denote sigma as a permutation, then what? So then, this is the symbol, sigma equals to uh, the this brackets, now write x1 and then sigma x1, x2, sigma x2, x3, sigma x3, up to xn, sigma xn. So that means we have the set from x1 to xn and sigma of x1 that means permutation of x1 or image of x1 then permutation of x2 permutation of x3 up to sigma of xn so this is how you can write we will discuss an example now what is a composition we discussed so what is a composition so let us take two permutations that is f equals to a1 b1 a2 b2 up to a and b n and g as b1 c1 b2 c2 up to b and c n then the composition, the FG, it is denoted by this symbol. That is A1, C1, A2, C2 up to A and C N. How? See, as you can see that A1 and this is sigma of A1. So that is the image is B1. So that means A1 goes to B1. Now for G, B1 goes to where? So here as you can see that this A1 goes to B1 and in G, B1 goes to C1. So the final image will be C1. So that is why we have returned here A1, C1. Now A2, B2. Now A2 goes to B2, then B2 goes to what? C2. So final image will be A2, C2 and so on. And last, A and C N. So A N goes to B N and B N goes to C N. So A N and C N. So this is how you can find composition. Okay. So let us discuss what is the identity permutation. So see, if every element of the set maps to itself, then it is known as the identity permutation. Uh, what are the cycle notations? So see, this uh, this is cycle notation, 1, 1, 2, 2, and n, n. So 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, and n goes to n, okay? Now see, suppose we have this 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, okay? So how to write it in cycle notation? So as you can see that this 1 goes to 1, so that is only one cycle. Now 2 goes to 3, and 3 goes to 2. So it is a cycle having two elements, because they are related. So 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2. So the final answer will be a cycle having this only 2, 3. Why we are not writing 1? Because 1 is uh, one goes to 1 itself. So uh, if we don't write, that means uh, it is very obvious, right? Suppose we have this example. Now 1, 4, 2, 2, 3, 7, 4, 5, 5, 1, 6, 6, 7, 3. So how to write it? So first step. Now see, uh, 1 goes to 4. Now 4 goes to 5. Then 5 goes to 1. Okay. So 1 to 1. So one cycle is completed. Now in cycle, one goes to four, four goes to five, and five goes to one. So we are writing this. Now two goes to two. So we are simply writing this two. 
fine. Now 3 goes to 7 and 7 goes to 3. So one cycle is completed, so 3, 7. And last 6 goes to 6, so a cycle having one element. But the final answer will be what? This 1, 4, 5 cycle and 3, 7. So, so that means this uh, 2, uh, if we don't write 2 and 6, then it is uh, automatically or it is very obvious that uh, 2 is uh, uh, 2 goes to 2 and 6 goes to 6. Okay. Now, uh, let us discuss example. So let s equals to 1, 2, 3 and then p3. It is set of all distinct uh, 1, 1, 1, 2 functions from s to itself. That is this p3 is what? Set of all f such that f is a permutation of degree 3. Now show that p3 is a permutation group with respect to the composition of function. So uh, we need to find uh, whether it is a group, uh, whether it is a permutation group and the operation is what? Composition of function. Okay. Now see solution. So as you can see that the uh, degree is what? 3. So by that uh, theorem or note, uh, it will contain how many elements? That is 3 factor. So that is 6. So uh, hence there will be 6 distinct permutations. Okay. And what are they? Okay. So P3 equals to what? See, uh, this is the identity permutation 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Okay. And we know the permutations. So we can write this uh, rest of the 3. Like 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, and 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. Okay. Now see, uh, let, let us denote this. So let i equals to this one. Let uh, then f1 equals to second one, f2, then this is f3, this is f4, and this is f5. Right? So the composite of functions is defined as operation of p3. So let us discuss that. See how to write uh, this f1 and f2, f1 composition f2. Let us first discuss, see we need to create this type of table, right, as we did in previous lectures. So this is the composition. We have total six elements. So i, f1, f2, f3, f4, f5. And in same way, row i, f1, f2, f3, f4, and f5. Now how to write this? So i composition i, that will be obvious. Now let us discuss this. See, f1 and f2. So consider this. Uh, where is f1? f1 and f2. So how to write it? See, 1 goes to 1. And here in f2, 1 goes to 2. So uh, the final answer will be here, 1, 2. Right? Now 2 goes to 3. And in f2, 3 goes to 3. So 2, 3. So here it will be 2, 3. Now 3 goes to 2. And 2 goes to 1. So final answer will be 3, 1. And this, uh, whatever the new permutation we've got, that is already there. That is f3. So f1 and f2 equals to f3. So answer of f1 f2, it will be f3. So as you can see that this f1 composition f2, that is f3. So in same manner, we can calculate each and every terms. So now we need to find what? We need to check it is a group. Okay. So for group, closure is there. As you can see that this uh, all the elements, they are from what? Uh, they are from this given set that is i, f1, f2, f3, f4. They all are i, f1, f2, f3 and f4. Okay. Now the second one, associative. You can check it uh, at, at your own that it is associative. Then the third property is what? Existence of identity. Now for identity element, uh, what we need to check? So that means some element into uh, the element that will get itself. So that means uh, element into or element composition uh, the identity element then we will get the element itself so just by table uh, what is this identity element so that is i as you can see that this i into i we are getting i now fn uh, then fn into i so we are getting itself so fn now f2 into i so we are getting f2 so that means i it is the identity element and it is the unique one okay then uh, the existence of inverse now for inverse, what we need to find the element uh, in uh, then composition, the inverse element. Then we are get, uh, we are getting i. So that means just consider this. Now i into i that is i. So that means for i, i is the inverse. Now for f1, uh, where is i? So i. So that means if we uh, compose it f1 and f1, then we are getting i. So that means what f1's inverse is f1. Now for f2. So f2 into f2 we are getting i. So that means f2's inverse is f2 in same manner. f3's inverse is what? Here f3's inverse is f4. f4's inverse is f3. And f5's inverse is f5. 
so inverse is there right and yes that's it so it is a group so hence it is a group so this is how you can find whether uh, it is a permutation group or not thank you